Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. Starting off with business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. The Review Journal gets an inside tour of the revolutionary MSG Sphere at the Venetian, scheduled to be completed in late 2023. Construction crews replacing the last steel beam. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer was there to see what's next. Renee. MSG Entertainment has invited the Review Journal for an exclusive tour of the MSG Sphere at the Venetian. 516 feet in diameter is the exosphere. Standing between levels 6 and 7, what we have to look forward to includes 160 square feet of LED immersion, stage location, and venue capacity. The LED starts behind you, moves over you, and on the side, and you'll be completely immersed. On the stage level, artists will see the massive audience who can watch performances not only from general admission seats, but from the 23 executive suites and the exclusive underground club below the venue. Uh, the great thing about the stage, uh, it's all level with the general admission uh, uh, floor. Um, with that, we made it versatile for all the artists to be able to determine how high or how low. Executives say to date construction costs through March 31st has reached $1.3 billion. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm Renee Summerauer. In more top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. An early morning crash in the Spring Valley area leaves two dead and a whole building without power. Look at all that rubble near Jones Boulevard and Flamingo Road caused by just a single car. Police say evidence indicates the car was speeding when it crashed through the brick barrier and landed in the parking lot, killing two occupants inside. Plus, the EDC numbers are in. Police report the 2022 Electric Daisy Carnival averaged 166,000 partiers per night at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. During this three-day electronic dance music festival, they say they made 39 arrests and issued 13 citations. At the North Las Vegas Park, fellow cyclists honor Ben Black. They rode down the same route Black used before he was struck by a driver on May 15th. His wife saying, so emotional, but it feels like there's something positive about it. And it actually felt really nice to see my dad, my son, all my nephews and brothers, just all riding around and finishing the laps that Ben used. The group Ghost Bikes Las Vegas organized this memorial. After seniors call out Rancho High for being unjust, the school makes changes. These students expressed frustration at not being allowed to drape these cultural stoles for graduation. The students are saying they were told by their school that it's ultimately a district policy preventing them from wearing the stoles. Rancho High says it will now allow the students to wear items representing their cultural heritage if they're approved at Wednesday's graduation rehearsal. In entertainment, go to any Raiders game and you might have noticed the David Perico Band. Now a local singer and member of the band is using his talent to win big. Review Journal's John Katsimidis tells us by how much. We know Kenny Fletch Walcott as one of the singers in David Perico's Raiders house band at Allegiant Stadium. Well, Walcott moved the chains on Monday night on the new Fox show, Don't Forget the Lyrics. Walcott won $150,000 on the show by moving through eight of the 10 required lyric guesses on the program. He stopped short of guessing some of the lyrics on I Can't Get No Satisfaction, but he did leave quite satisfied with 150 grand. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Forget milk, got water? For Heat Awareness Week, the Southern Nevada Health District is partnering with the National Weather Service. Their advice for this time of year? Plan activities for cooler hours of the day, stay hydrated, and pack on the sunscreen. Speaking of the heat, here's a look at tonight's temps, still in the 90s, dipping into the 80s in the next hour, then only to the 70s overnight. On Wednesday, expect the return of triple-digit highs, which should last through Thursday and Friday with some breezes. The forecast now shows sunny skies all week. For the weekend, the temps should taper to the 90s, then 80s by Monday.
Sports, brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. Las Vegas hosted its first ever NFL Pro Bowl in February, and we didn't know it then, but that could have been the very last game of its kind. On Tuesday, NFL owners were considering making drastic changes to the Pro Bowl, including eliminating the tackle football game due to more and more players opting out of the event. According to multiple reports from the NFL owners meeting in Atlanta, any changes to the event could be announced as early as this summer. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Aces are the plus 175 favorites at the Westgate Superbook to win the WNBA championship after crushing Los Angeles by 28 points on Monday for their fifth straight victory. Connecticut is the plus 375 second choice to win it all. The Aces will try to improve on their league leading 7-1 record on Saturday at Chicago. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital. We're here for you when you need us. Because everyone deserves a prom night, the Raiders and Candlelighters Childhood Cancer Foundation of Nevada recently hosted a special black carpet and prom night for teen survivors of cancer or other life-threatening illnesses. The theme? Neon Nights at the Raiders headquarters. And the use of bikes continues to grow thanks to the reduction of traffic in downtown Las Vegas, according to RTC. The use of their bike share program jumped 97% during April. The commission is also offering a discounted price for the monthly pass since May is National Bike Month. In Lifestyle, sponsored by Visit Laughlin, an easygoing getaway filled with good food, good people and good times on the river. While the tourism industry in Las Vegas is booming, what tourists are seeking is changing. Our entertainment columnist reports on the fading lounge scene, which used to be the place for live music at a low cost. The list of nostalgic lounges includes Ovation Showroom at Green Valley Ranch, Lounge at the Palms, and Cleopatra's Barge at Caesars Palace. While human lounges are out, the ones for cats are in. Is it okay to reach out? <laughs> Hearts Alive Village opened a new cat cafe and lounge on Rainbow Boulevard, a place where humans and felines can interact in a relaxed setting. So all the kitties here are available for adoption. We have some kittens and some adult cats, including some who have some medical or other needs, but they get to free roam and not be in kennels. If you'd like to adopt a friend, visit heartsalivevillage.org. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have a Roku device, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.